purchase that I made um, for this uh, breadboard. This prototype solderless uh, breadboard. Um, I'm doing this review, I mean a lot of people would say well there's not much to a breadboard, but I've seen a lot of videos on breadboards that are being sold. Uh, this one was $3.75 with uh, free shipping uh, and I've seen reviews on a lot of them that are very similar to this that were not very good. Um, either they just really were poorly made, or they weren't <laughs> they weren't wired correctly at all. Um, I don't know a whole lot about breadboards, and I don't know a whole lot about circuitry. I do. I did take a course. I did take DC circuits, and I know enough to be dangerous, but not too much. I actually bought this to use uh, on a project that I will do a video on later. Um, that a friend of mine, uh, Kenny, he helped me kind of design and I want to do that but I really wanted to put it all on a breadboard before I soldered it all together and run it uh, but we'll go ahead and get into this when I got it when I purchased it uh, it was so cheap you know I wasn't really concerned about it I have already been in this so I do know that it's a, I, I do really like this breadboard um, you know the back of it shows uh, it's how it how it's wired up and you can see that there how it's wired in columns uh, which is the way it's supposed to be, and then um, these here are wired together, uh, red and blue, and then it's cut there. Um, and the one that I saw on the internet, uh, or a review of it, uh, they were wired in blocks. Um, that's really not how they're supposed to be done. So I went through with my multimeter, my vintage Simpson multimeter here, as you can see. Um, and I just went through just to see which ones had resistance and which ones didn't. Um, and which ones should, I knew which ones should and which ones shouldn't. So I will, uh, I'll see if I can't show both of these here. Let me take that clip off. See if I can't, see if I can't show all of this so that you all can see it at the same time. So for those of you who don't know how breadboards work, um, they should be set up uh, in columns, so this entire row right here should all be connected, but it should not be connected with the one beside it. And then the red here along the side all the way to this brick should be connected, and the blue should be connected to the brick. And the same on the other side. So I'm going to take, uh, just so you know that this is working, I'm going to go ahead and touch them together so you see that there is there is resistance, um, so we're going to start. We'll start with this uh, with this negative one here. So I'll just plug the uh, plug my common into that, and I'll take. Uh, I'm not really concerned about the wires here, what colors they are, um, and I'm going to plug this red one in here um, into the red side. And as you can see, when I touch it in there, uh, it doesn't move. But if I touch it in the blue, it connects. So that's good. And then there shouldn't be any connection on any of these. I'll just spot check a few of them. As you can tell, none of them are connected. So I'm assuming that the red is the same, and I won't test all of these. I'll just do a few of them. And it really holds these in really well. They don't, as you can see, I'm shaking it pretty well, and they don't want to come out. The one that I saw on another video that someone did, uh, the stuff just wanted to fall right out. They did not want to stay in there. Um, so then you can see here in this one, I only do one side. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, if I touch it anywhere else on the breadboard, you know, it doesn't have connection except for in that row. And you can see that there. So this is a really nice, really nice breadboard, really cheap. I'll include a link in the bottom where you can get it. This was not sent to me. Um, I'm doing this review for free uh, because, well, I didn't find any reviews on this one. When I purchase things, I like to see videos of people using them, uh, and this one just did not. So I wasn't sure what I was getting, but I figured for 375, you know, didn't have anything to lose. It, I also purchased separately.
for an additional 99 cents and 150 shipping. These breadboard connectors, they were almost nothing. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and buy them. I was just going to use some phone cable, uh, uh, cut up some phone cable that I already had, and I was going to use that, and it was going to be free. But I decided, you know, to go ahead with this. Uh, I took this apart, and I kind of regret that I need to find some way to kind of organize all of these. I know in the end, there's not really a good way to organize this. Uh, it says that there are 65 pieces in here. Uh, I'm going to take the word for it. I have not counted. I'm going to assume that there are this many in here, but they, they stick in the breadboard really well, and it comes with a bunch of different colors um, and different sizes too. you got these really short ones, really long ones, and then there's some that are medium, if I can find one of those here. I probably can't. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there are the three sizes. You have, you have these really long ones here. You can see how long that was. Uh, then these somewhat shorter ones, and then these very short ones. And they have them in all different colors. They're all bundled together. And I really like them quite a bit. But uh, yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the review on this, on this uh, solderless breadboard. Really nice. I recommend it if you're really looking for a cheap, uh, useful breadboard. This is the one I'd go with. And it also, just to throw in there, it does have these uh, connectors on the side so that you could get more of them and connect them together. Uh, that's actually how these side pieces are held on here, and I don't like this, but it doesn't bother me too much, but it has this nice adhesive back, so if you wanted to stick it, stick it to something, uh, you could do that. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.